Hey guys, it's Kim. Just wanted to share with you today a couple of ATCs that I have made uh, for the challenge on my Facebook group, Nothing But Crafts. Um, it is run by Luisa Diaz, and um, this month we were to make um, a couple of ATCs, but um, we had to make them really super chunky and um, we had to use trims and lace and flowers and, and things like that. We could make anything we want, but they had to be like super, super chunky. And uh, so this is what I came up with. And uh, so the first one that I made is this one. And I used the um, ladies' diary for the pictures of the two vintage ladies there. And uh, the background... Hmm. I think it's a Prima paper, and I can't remember the name of it, but if you guys want to know, let me know, and I will find out. Anyway, um, I tried to keep the colors in, like, beiges and tans and pinks and blacks. So, um, I used a playing card, actually, because they're the perfect size for an ATC. And then I put the paper on top, and then I used some of my Lindy Stamp Gang to spray it. Uh, I used the Medieval Gold. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can see in the background, it's got a bit of a gold shimmer to it. If the camera picks it up, you can kind of see it maybe there. So uh, I did that first, and then I added um, the Vintage Ladies, and I did cover the Vintage Ladies with glossy accents. I just find that adding pictures on top, it just makes them sturdier, and uh, I just love the glossy look to them. I used a little Crafty Emblaze dress form here, a little tiny one. And then the flowers here, I used some of this, um, I think it's used for rug hooking, this stuff. And I cut a little square and put it in the corner. And then I added the Wild Orchid Crafts flowers uh, in black and tan and pink. And then I made a stick pin here with some black beads. And then I added this uh, Geekier Lacer, which is from Wild Orchid Crafts. I just love this stuff. And then another little flower in the corner. So that's the front of that one. And then the back, I used my ATC stamp that I got from uh, Stamper's Best. And I just filled out the back. We were supposed to sign it, so I did. And I kept the back plain because, you know, nobody's really going to see it anyway. And so I signed it, and that is my first one. So there it is. And it is pretty chunky. <laughs> So there's that one. And then this one, I went in a very different uh, direction color-wise. Um, I did it all in whites and aquas. And uh, I used the Firefly paper from Prima for this one because it's really super muted tones, and I love it. And again, I used, you can just see it there, some of the medieval gold I sprayed with the, uh, from Lindy's. And this is a domino here that I covered and the picture on the domino is actually from some tissue paper that I got in a swap from Linda Excalibur Nation. So I am using up my tissue paper you sent me, Linda. <laughs> I love that tissue paper. It's gorgeous. And um, I used some daisies, some little rosebuds, some larger roses in the aqua, and um, these are also from Wild Dark Crafts, these little sort of organza flowers here. And I put some satin and lace along the bottom. And I added a few pearl sprays up here. And a stick pin in the white and aqua colors. And then a few pearls here and some more lace down the side. And again, I just kept it in those color tones of white and aqua. A few little pearls here and there. So there's that one, and again, the back, I just stamped it, kept it plain, and signed it. And I also sprayed the back with some Lindy's and the Medieval Gold as well. So those are my two ATC cards that I made for the swap on Nothing But Crafts. Let me see if I can sort of hold these two up here. There they are. So I hope you like them, Louisa. Let me know what you think. Please leave a comment or sub if you wish. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.